Hi, this is Marshall from Yanaguana Games, and I am showing you guys um, some stuff from Record. If you uh, back to the game and you guys got one of the uh, backer miniatures uh, in the backer kit, if you added on a miniature, um, I'm showing you what uh, the miniature looks like when it gets to you guys this coming week or in the near future. Uh, so it'll arrive in a bottle just like this. Um, you can use the bottle to paint. I'll show you how in just a second. Uh, you'll want to take the top off and take out the packing peanuts. There are two on top and then one right in the bottom, right next to the miniature itself. Uh, I'll throw these over here and I'll set the bottle here for the moment. Um, and here's the miniature. Uh, I'll see how close I can get it without it getting blurry. Uh, so you guys can see it'll look just like this. Um, this one you'll notice on the bottom, it's got a little bit of a sprue there from where it came off of the mold. Um, so what I like to do is sand that off. Uh, if you're going to paint it, you'll want to get some of the other areas sanded too. So um, I'll take my sandpaper. I have a little sandwich tray that I use. Uh, and you'll just want to rub it back and forth on your sandpaper and get rid of that sprue. Uh, kind of get it flattened out there so it'll be nice and flat. There we go. Feeling pretty good about that. It sits pretty flat. I'm also going to get these edges right here where it came off the mold. There we go. Let's get this side. Uh, this one looks pretty good. I'll go up the edge one time with a guitar where there's a bit of where the mold was. Uh, but this one's looking pretty good. So. This one is pretty much ready to go get primed. Get the edges of the fretboard there a little. You always have a little bit of where the mold was. Okay, so once you've got it like that, <clears throat> you'll want to get it ready to prime. Um, personally, uh, I use, I believe, a tester's primer. Uh, I will go prime it, and with the magic of time lapse, I'll bring back a primed uh, miniature. So it looks like that right now, completely clear. And I want to get it ready for painting, so we'll bring one back ready for painting. Okay, so here we have our miniature primed. Uh, the bottom's not primed because I'm just going to paint it all black, but it's sanded. Um, the rest of it is primed with a dark gray. Uh, so you can see how it's nice and primed here. It's ready for paint. It'll, it'll hold paint much better once it's primed. If you don't prime it, um, it'll be, have a harder time getting the paint to stick to the plastic. So. Uh, this is primed and ready. Uh, I use a spray primer. Uh, you can use a painted primer or a spray primer. I like spray primer because it just gives you a nice even coat. So uh, I mentioned painting with the bottle. Um, here's a bottle. Uh, here's some stuff I like to use for my miniatures painting. Pretty often it's like an Elmer's sticky tack. Uh, you can use it for posters on walls and stuff like that. Um, but I take some of the sticky tack. You take your bottle here. Uh, and you will place some of the sticky tack right on top like that and you take your miniature and you just sort of work it on there and twist it a little bit and the miniature's on there nice and nice and taut. Uh, be careful with your neck it will break if you bend it too hard uh, so uh, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna put a little roughness in there because uh, I sanded that so nice it's and now it's stuck on there so now when I want to paint it I'm not touching the painted miniature I can paint and I can hold it with this hand. Uh, so I'll show you how I do that just here in a second. Um, so we'll get started painting. Um, essentially, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is paint the neck uh, sort of a, a, a wood color and then this front panel. I usually like to paint that first. So we'll get started doing that in just a second. Okay, so I've got my miniature here and I've got some uh, uh, light brown paint. I've also got some white paint here uh, and I'm going to start uh, layering this onto the back and the front of uh, the fretboard for uh, the wood color and I do just want to get this all up the fretboard everywhere and coat that and we'll come back and we'll get the details in just a bit. Um, so you'll want to get a pretty good coat on there but you don't want to glob it uh, because you do want that detail to stay. So all up the back of the fretboard and we'll probably do a couple coats of this, we usually do. Um, we'll come along the side here. Get 
Put some more paint on the paintbrush here. There we go. And we'll come up the back. Don't need to get too deep, too deep, 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 deep into detail uh, on the base coat because we're just trying to get as much information laid down as possible without globbing. All right, there we go. Just gonna get into these finger. Or sorry, these are the uh, the tuning pegs. Come over the top here. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So you'll see here we've got a nice brown on our uh, fretboard uh, all the way up and down. All right, and so now while that's drying, what I'll do is I'll rinse this brush off. I'll use that one for brown again in a little bit, but I'll set it to the side. I'll grab another brush for white. And we'll do the front of this one here. Alright, so on the front it's a little more detailed because I'm just trying to get that shape there. But I do want to get the outside edge. So I'll come down and grab the edge just outside of what's called the pick guard on the guitar. <clears throat> so the pick guard uh, is this shape that is on top of the guitar here. Uh, and it's usually a piece of plastic and it's usually it's often white or silver uh, It can be black on a lighter guitar And we want to paint that whole thing White and that's going to take a couple coats, but we'll do one and then let it dry and we can switch back and forth between brushes now That's the fun part about painting miniatures and having lots of brushes All right we do want to get that whole edge of it. And it's alright to have a lighter color here. Uh, sort of on the edge when we have a lighter color, it's not going to be that big of a deal to color up, cover up because we're going to make this sort of a, a cream guitar, or sorry, a cream cover, but then we'll have a teal guitar. The teal will cover the white easily. Alright. Actually, we're going to get in here and get underneath and get all of this to be white as well. Because we're going to be coming back over that later. Alright, looking great. Oh, it popped off. We can just stick it back on there. Okay, so you'll see here we've got the white on the pick guard there, and we've got our nice fretboard. We'll do another coat of each, and then we'll come back. Okay, so now I've gotten my uh, fretboard and my uh, pick guard painted, uh, and I've mixed up a nice teal color here that I want to put all over the body. Uh, so I'm actually going to start with the back back here, uh, and I'm just going to go kind of everywhere other than the back plate there, which is going to be silver. And if you get a little on that, it's not a problem. Be a little on the base that's not a problem I like to paint the bases black you can paint the base whatever color you want though so get the back painted up with one coat we'll come back for another coat in a little bit here um, and then I want to come through here and get the edges and get this inner sort of scoop here and go right up the edge there the back plate there we go looking beautiful I don't want to get these edges and just pull the paint back uh, and come around the edge at the bottom here and we'll come across the front and put quite a bit of water into this paint so it's carrying pretty well but we'll probably need three coats or so so I'll do this first coat and then uh, I won't make it sit through the next two We'll do a little time-lapse magic <clears throat> and come back uh, after this is all done. So uh, essentially you want to do two to three coats of your body color. Uh, I'm really, really loving the way that color looks. So we've got a nice sort of teal color 
with our white there. Uh, and got the body done. And I'll do a couple more coats and I'll be right back and we'll do some details. All right, so I've gotten uh, my color onto the body here. Uh, and I'm going to now uh, start sort of putting on some details. I'm just going to put on uh, some of the hardware. So uh, I've been trying to decide between silver and gold for this one. I think gold looks real nice, so I think we're going to go with some golden hardware, sort of a bronzish, bronzish uh, gold here. Uh, I'll just get some of that here. I also went ahead and put a base onto it. I just put black base there. Just painted black all the way around on the base and on the back there. It's just real simple. I use just a pure black there. You can paint your base whatever color you like. I figured I wouldn't put you through having to watch me paint that base. Okay, so we're going to put some of the hardware on. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is this little plate on the front of the guitar. So, grab some of this gold here. And I'll just dab it onto the front there, that plate. There we go. Just right across like that and then there's also the knobs here and so we'll just start dabbing it onto the knobs just go over one way or the other and if you get some on the edge don't worry about it I'm gonna take my my file here I got some on the edge and I'm just gonna scrape it off with my file and I'll come back and paint over it with some white if you make mistakes don't worry have fun it's all about having fun with painting Alright, so we'll put some onto these knobs, we'll make them gold. There's three knobs on the front of the guitar, there's a volume and a tone, and uh, a second tone, I guess I would say. Alright, so I'm going to come back the other way across the knobs, with just a little more gold. You just want to gingerly touch them. You can use if you want. I've got a, a magnifying glass here that I can use if I want to get in there and get really detailed, but I think I'm doing fine my eye for now. Okay. We're going to grab some more gold here. We're going to come up and we're going to do the details on these. These are the uh, tuning pegs. So we're just going to go around the edges of these tuning pegs and gold. Add some gold. I've got something on my brush here. Let's go ahead and get that off of there. And then we'll come around the back of the tuning gear. We'll paint all this gold here so I knew where the bumps are. Right over the bumps here. Alright. It's probably my water heater. You'll have to excuse that. So, I just want to paint gold right up against the edge. You don't want to cover all that nice wooden color that you put on there. You don't want to cover all the detail. Once you've gone over it, you can kind of rub it. We're also going to come in there and we're going to put some darker hardware on there. So the last bit we want to do is right here on the tip. We've just got these little tuning hardware pieces. And we'll go over all those and then we'll come back and we'll clean that up with the brown in a little bit. I usually choose a brown that it's just one color that doesn't need to be mixed because on these it needs to be redone occasionally. Alright, and then there's this little back plate back here. So then you want to come in and you want to paint your back plate. So, there we go. We got our back plate. Okay, so that's great. So we got some shiny back plate and we got some shinies on the edge there. I know it's probably hard to see here. We got some shiny on the front. Uh, so, we got ourselves a nice looking guitar so far. Uh, we'll come in and do some washes and some cleanup. Uh, and then we'll call it a wrap. So we'll do washes next. Okay, so now we've got a nice dark wash that we've made. This is uh, about four drops of water and just a touch of the uh, black here. 
Um, and what we want to do with this wash is we want to get it all in these gaps where we're going to paint uh, a little bit of sort of silver on the uh, uh, fretboard to show the, uh, the, the strings. So we'll take this wash and we'll just sort of lay it in here. You'll notice it's really wet, really transparent, but it's going to start to highlight all that detail. So we're actually going to take it over all this hardware too. Be fairly liberal with it. You want to let it get in there, get all in where the strings are, and you'll notice it starts to highlight some of that detail, which is really what we want it to do. You can do this on the back back here where we had our, our hardware. It sort of antiques the hardware and gets a little bit of depth to it. So I'm going to take one more set of wash down there, and then you got to take some time to let that dry. So while your wash is drying, uh, you can paint another miniature, you can paint a different part of the miniature, but I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. I'm probably going to put one more coat on, and I'll bring it back to do some finishing detail. But what you can see there, as you can see, I've got a nice dark wash in there that's starting to highlight some of that detail on the miniature. Uh, just keep laying it in there until there's enough detail, or until you're happy with the amount of detail that it's giving you. So I'll come back after this is dry and we'll do a little more detail. Okay, so now I've gotten almost all of the major details. I've gotten my, um, you know, hardware on, gotten the coating on for the, you know, the base, the body, uh, the neck. I've gotten all the details onto the, the headboard that I want for now. And so now I want strings just sort of running along the entire body here and the fretboard. So what I'm going to do is I've got this very, very nice silver color. It would be like the same silver you'd use for a sword or something like that. And I'm going to put it across my, my brush. And I'm just going to take my brush sort of right up these strings and put just a little shine on. I don't want to like put too much in. I just want to take it across the strings. You'll notice the shine starting to form all the way up the fretboard. I'm not going to do this too, too much. I just want to put a little shine of the strings on there. I'm going to do one more coating, maybe. It's really, really light, though. You don't want too much. Okay, so. I'm going to come across here. This may even be just a little much here, but it's, it's showing up. We want it across all the strings. There we go. Okay. Just get a little bit more on this side here. There we go. Pull some. So now you can see that the strings sort of start to glisten. I don't know how much you can see that there, but the strings sort of glisten just a little bit. And you can do this, you can do this a little heavier if you want. You can get in there and then do another coating of the nice dark wash. Uh, so I'm actually going to take the wash and I'm going to go in over this again. And you'll notice it's going to kind of get everything moving together there. Uh, and so I'll do a couple of washes um, and then go back in and highlight that maybe with a little bit more. But that's pretty much a finished guitar there. Uh, so that's how you paint one of the record miniatures. Uh, one of the record miniature guitars. Uh, uh, and then if you'd like, you know, one way you can store it is you can always just take your bottle that it came in uh, and you can pop it down in there and then you can put that in the box. Uh, if you're going to shake it around much, I suggest putting the, um, the packing peanuts back in with it to keep it safe. But uh, I also like to put a nice gloss medium on it uh, once I'm completely done with the painting to, you know, put a gloss on there. But that's pretty much it. All right, so, and also you guys can see some of the guitar picks here. Uh, these are the record guitar picks. There's 35 of them. Uh, these are the extra ones if you bought any of the extra ones in the package. So, uh, all right, well, thanks for watching. You guys check out www.yanaguanagames.com. I appreciate you checking out me painting a miniature here for you today. Um, and again, record is shipping now. Um, you all should be seeing it very, very soon. Thank you for checking it out. Bye-bye.